Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the new preview update for Xbox. So, I was selected to be, the, for the first wave, I was selected to be like, um, the first, like, one of the first people, you know, type of people to get the update. So, we're going to take a look at the updates. So, firstly, we're going to go to our messages, and go to this message. So this is to notify that you will get the update. So it's from Xbox and it says thanks for your outstanding petition in the Xbox Insider program. Your controls were selected to preview upcoming Xbox One updates of design. You could opt out via the Xbox Insider Hub. So if you there's I'm not hundred percent certain but um they want to uh, launch it but I'm not hundred percent certain. Um but if you if you like complete all the quests and challenges and do all the surveys and stuff, you have a better chance of getting into this. So let's get get into the first um, feature. So firstly, it looks kind of different, and it's been it's it's faster now. It's really fast now. So I can just keep. So basically, when you like. Keep going to the left or right, it's kind of slow, but now they sped it up so it's much faster. So you go really fast, like down here, up down here. So you can get so it's pretty fast. Secondly, achievement tracker. Yeah, this is a really new feature. I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna go to a game that I'll show you. Just launch that up. So I'm in game right now. Let's turn on turn it on. So turn the achievement tracker on. Uh, you can confer it to where this goes. I'll just put it here. So you're gonna get this on the bottom left of your bottom right of your screen. So if you're like aiming for an achievement and um, you really want, you don't have to go back to your achievement to see how much progress. You can see the bottom right, bottom right, or like you can put it anywhere around your screen. So you don't have to go to your achievements anymore. You could just look at your achievements down here. So it'll be on the screen in game. So you can turn it off if you want. You can leave it on or off. So you, uh, yeah. So you can just go to your achievements. Close that. Anyways, um, second feature is probably um, well, firstly, the second feature is the guide. This is not a feature, but this is a part of it. So basically, it's a one-button press now. You don't double tap anymore. It's just a one button press. Just one button press. All right. So one button press, you get this. This is basically the guide. So you've still got all your stuff, you like the your friends, your friends. It's exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Messages, the location settings. But there's one like little option. It's a bit expanded up, so it's a bit bigger. So the guide is like your quick access bar. So basically, you really don't have to go back to the home menu anymore because, like, all the stuff you need, like, is right here. Like, you could go like a day. I could spend like a day without going to the menu. So this is basically like your home right now. So basically, you go back to your home if you want. Like, your, I mean, that like, Xbox Home. Go to that store and uh, recent games, or you go to your pins. So here's your pins, and you can expand it. Go down over here. Of course, you can move them. You can still move them too. Nothing's changed. Secondly, is they've removed like a feature now. Snap. They've removed the snap feature, so you can't really snap anymore. Like, you know, get, do two things at once. You kind of can with this, but like, you can't snap stuff like, you know, YouTube, Sky TV, if you watch like TV. Or like, um, so basically you can't really snap anymore. And I don't know how you're going to use Twitch because with Twitch you have to like snap Twitch so you can broadcast. I don't know how you're going to broadcast. You probably can, just like a feature or like not. So basically, secondly, um, Cortana, Cortana, right? Cortana, um. Um, where's Cortana? You should get Cortana. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you need, you know, when you have Cortana, you usually snap Cortana if you want to ask a question or you use a mic. So I don't have my connect set up or my headphones in. 
or anything like that. So I'm just gonna launch her like that. So only launch Cortana, she just appears like that. Like she just not snapped to the side of the screen. I have like no um mic plugged in right now. So you have to like um, Sorry about that. I did not hear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't really I I don't have my mic plugged in or connect. So you that's how it looks like now because in the last update, you just snapped to the screen, but snap was removed, so it's just like a bit, a few inches left to the screen. All right. <coughs> um. Secondly, is the game DVR. Game DVR. Yes. Um. Basically, it's basically the same thing. You can press Y to save a screenshot, X to record that, or you can press this for more recording options. So you don't have to go to your settings and change how long the recording will last. It just it just does it from here, so it basically is recording the last five minutes right now, or or you could just instantly just start recording, so you could instantly just become a broadcaster straight away, so you don't have to like launch um like the game DVR and snap it, so you can start recording. So yeah, third feature is improvements to the narrator and um we check narrator and uh, where is it? Here somewhere, narrative magnifier, you know, magnifier one. So, uh, the third the feature, another feature is copilot. So, basically, um, so basically, this is a pretty cool feature to be honest because basically, you could it's basically for the like disabled people, um, like people with difficulties and stuff because. You know, people could like control the other side of the controller. It's basically like you control the controller. It's basically like two controllers, right? But they're like merged into one. So there's basically if you have two controllers, they all control like player one. Yeah. So they all are just like go to the same port. So basically, let me give you an example. If you're playing like Black Ops Three, right, and you're like with a friend and you're using the co-pilot feature, if you do like the electric bow. And you're playing with a feet friend, and he's like, um, "Can you please do the shot?" Because in uh, Black Ops Three, there's like a step where you have to shoot these three um, beacons, and um, you could just like use the co-pilot feature, and so your other friend could like do the shots himself if you're not really good at you know aiming. So basically, so basically, another another example is is if you're like in multiplayer. And you don't want to do two player, it's co pilot. So basically, each game you could just swap around. So, some guy, if you're playing like one game of Black Ops multiplayer, um, you can, um, like, um, so one guy just does the first game, controls, you use the controller, and the guy with the second controller can do the second game. So, basically, here's like one more example if you're playing Black Ops 3 Zombies, and basically, there's a guy around one, and you're, you're like, um, Copilot, you know the copilot feature. So basically, one guy can do like each round. So the, some guy does a round five on round. So if you're like with four players, so if you have like four players, one guy can do round one, one guy can do round two, one guy can do round three, and one guy can do round four, and so on. So I think it's a pretty cool feature, and uh, it's you can turn on high contrast, so that'll kind of make your screen. Is this is a feature on the, on the? I I think this was already in the update, so I might be mistaken there. Um, secondly, I don't really know anything else, but there is a new thing down here. But not many people have heard of it. But there's like an accessory tab now. Now this was in the last update. You could clearly go to this, but if you didn't like, uh, if you didn't like heard about this, here it is. You could browse the accessories. On Xbox style from your console, so you can just see all the accessories, and you can click on one, it goes to Microsoft Edge. Yeah. So yeah, that's so that's not really relevant, but just uh, just a extra dip tip right there. And let's take a look at the inside of hub. So that I don't know if there's anything changed for the inside of hub, or I don't know. So let's just take a look. So if you would if you I I did all the surveys and stuff, so I probably got the update from doing that. So you probably get a better charge, so I'm not hundred percent sure. But this is if you're like inside a member. 
So I did all these surveys and stuff. I have the photos at level 11. Been a program for like one years and two months, basically. So this is like the leaderboard, the global leaderboard. So how much XP you've got. So this is the, if you're not an inside a member, you won't really, you already have this. So this is all the people that, like I've got XP from doing all the quests. So probably this guy, the Wii Bear, you know, he's probably already had the update because he's already done all these challenges and surveys and quests. Yeah, and Major Nelson has it too, of course. And Hot Pocket, probably. So, so this is just the content you have. I've joined the Insider Program, of course. And, um, yeah, I think that is about it. And, of course, I can get rid of this. I can opt out and go back to the previous, uh, um, you designed so if so I can get rid of this and just go back to the previous uh, design of of the so I can just go back like an update and go back to the double tap with the old features. So I kind of do like this update. Now they have removed snap, which is kind of bad because I don't know how you're gonna stream using Twitch. So I really don't understand how you're gonna do that. But I think in the upcoming way weeks they probably add something how you could stream on Twitch or something. I don't know how it's gonna work. So they so they did remove Snap to make the console better. So it makes um, it's really fast now. So this makes the console much faster now. It improves the speed of the console, so that's why they removed it. So I kind of get why they did it, just to make it faster. So yeah, you can also access game and app the store. Yeah, so this is basically your, this is basically most of the features. And one more thing is, um, if you're playing music, you can adjust the volume, but that was in the last update, so. It kind of is on here right now. There's no like music section because you know Snap was removed. You know when you use Snap, it's kind of replaced with the music icon when you're playing your OneDrive music or just music. So they have it on the guide now. And yeah, that's kind of about it. About with the updates. I hope I haven't missed any. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. So I hope. Yeah, that's it. I think there's a game score leaderboard that's probably already in. And guys, that's all of the features. Wait, wait, one more thing. Um, basically, there's a new update design right now. So let me just check if there's like an update. Actually, not. Um, no, I won't check. I'll check later on. Um, so basically, when you update the console now, um, it kind of goes into the new design. So you know when I was updating mine when I got the first, I uh, had also the first like one of the first people to get like the update it's kind of a new design when you update right now so basically it just like updates and stuff and then it then it um, rep it's basically repairing the update and then modifying the update to your console now there's like a new design where it downloads the update it vectrifies the update and yeah so you probably saw this in the video like the xbox video the insider program features and um yeah that's kind of all the features guys, so if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and yeah, that's kind of it guys, um, I'll see you in the next video I guess, bye.